Welcome, everybody. And especially welcome Miss Kathleen Hudson tonight. Everybody hey. give her a big round of applause. She's the reason why we're here. Yes, ma'am. the guitars? Good. This is our second rodeo. <laughs> really? Well, welcome, everybody. Special, special night. My name is uh, Pitt Garrett, and I'm just uh, proud to be here uh, this evening at Hills Cafe. And we're doing this supper club thing. It's to honor Kathleen. And uh, we have a platform, and basically it's honoring Kathleen Ann Hudson uh, in appreciation for her relentless and sacrificial support of... <laughs> that fits Sorry, better. I like relentless. <laughs> Um, local songwriters, and she's, the, as y'all know, executive director of the Texas Heritage Music Foundation. Uh, she's been working at that for 30, count them, 30 years. So, the relentless and the sacrificial certainly, certainly apply to her. My honor, Kathleen. Thank you. You're welcome. You want to say something? <laughs> Some very nice new friend asked me if I were going to sing tonight. He has no idea the tiny, tiny little dream that lies back there. Those of us who promote music and who love music probably somewhere had that urge, whether it's to sing or play or perform. And I have realized over the years that uh, my performance is in the classroom, and it's also when I have a chance to, to let people know what I'm about and what this is about. And it's very interesting because it was July, 30 years ago, that I looked up and I felt very fragmented. I had worked with Rod Kennedy a year, I'd gotten excited about uh, promoting music and helping uh, get audiences to hear music that I love. And I decided to do a radio series, and then I said, well, I can write for the newspaper. So I did that. Well, I can get people to do a coffee house, so I did that. And I just <laughs> felt like I was all over the map. So I did this seminar, and I came out of it with one short mission statement. Who I am is the possibility that stories and songs make a difference in the world. And that just centered everything. And I learned from Rod Kennedy that I could start my own nonprofit. And I started it. I went to an accountant. I did what you had to do. And I spent years saying, but I'm just an English teacher. But I'm just an English teacher. And finally, after starting this foundation, and we've got about eight major successful programs going now, but I'm just an English teacher. And so I met Tom Steinbeck at a Willie Nelson picnic, and of course, we all know who his daddy was, and I am an English teacher. So I introduced myself, oh, I teach, I teach John Steinbeck in my class, and Tom and I became friends. He loved Bobby Nelson, and he was looking for Texas music for his dad's films. But here's what the gift that Tom gave me. One day in talking to me, he said, Quit saying you're just an English teacher. You are a producer. And a producer is someone who puts things together. And so instead of seeing it as some business term or something negative that I didn't fit with, he helped me see that the act of, of putting things together was in itself an art. And that helped me see a little bit more about who I was and I quit complaining about all the pieces of events. I sort of created a monster, because after 30 years with no salary to hire anybody, it makes it a strange transition. But I am retiring as director of that foundation. The projects that I've created will live in the arms of Trinity University. So we will go forward the next September. And I really appreciate being here, and a lot of dear friends here, and a lot of new friends, and, and then Chummy's friends. Hey. <laughs> Even better. So there we go, and, and uh, with that, thank you all, and thank you, George, for always uh, supporting the event and helping us get through, helping me get through that day. <laughs> thank you.
Thank you. Awesome. I mean, we, we're all thanking Pitt ongoingly, but to do the work he does with songwriters is phenomenal. We talked a long time ago about his work and how we could work together and support each other, and this is pretty phenomenal uh, to give songwriters a space to perform. Thank you. And then you retire. Yeah, I will be a volunteer. There you go.